If you're looking for new VST plugins, freebies and deals, you've came to the right place. Also stick around because a brand new choir library just dropped and it is awesome. But first up, we're going to be checking out Borealis Light Edition plugin by Mantra, I think they're called. This is a dynamic reverb plugin designed for the studio stage and beyond. So here it is inside of your door. Comes with a ton of presets here, as you can see. This is what the sample sounds like by itself. I've chosen a sample from my Sad Summer sample pack. And then with the reverb. Sounds pretty awesome. You can get quite spacious atmospheres using this plugin. Before we move on, I just want to thank Artoria for sending me their brand new Astro Lab keyboard. It's right here in front of me. You can't quite see it in this shot, but I will put some B roll over the top so you can actually see it. It's literally just arrived just as I was about to shoot this video, so I just plonked it here on the desk. I will be going into it further in a future video, but straight out of the gate, it looks awesome. I love this middle dial here where you can go through all of the presets. The reason why I wanted this is you can use it in your studio or you can travel with it, and all you need is the power cable and some headphones so you don't need your computer around all of the time so if you want to practice if you want to practice on the fly but yeah like i said pretty awesome bit of hardware the build quality is awesome as well very heavy a lot of metal as well very sturdy the keys feel awesome as well okay so up next is auto chroma this is 40 dollars it's a granular effects plugin i actually don't have the full version myself i've been trying out my demo and i've been pretty impressed with it so far this is what it will look like inside of your door comes with a ton of presets down here as well if you don't want to use them you can get into the nitty gritty and change all the parameters yourself um, using the same loop as the previous uh, plugin. If you want to check that out, like I said, it comes with a trial. I'll leave everything from today's video in the description below. Okay, so over at UJAM, they have their Finisher Micro plugin. This is a free effects plugin. I think it might be limited time. There it is, yeah, September the 4th. This plugin can dramatically speed up the phaser while introducing a little distortion and mixing in a dash of reverb. It's only a one dial plugin, so I can't imagine it being that difficult to get your head around. I've not downloaded this yet myself, but if you do download it, let me know how you get along with it in the comments section below okay so you guys might be familiar with another youtuber named kyle beats very big on the whole music production youtube um you might have seen his latest video just 11 days ago it went kind of like semi-viral um 1.6 million plays on that famous rapper stole my beat and the song went platinum normally i don't do this but I really wanted your opinions in the comment section below. So basically in this video, Kyle finds out there's a massive um, song um, what has his loop on there and he wasn't told about it. It's a bit kind of like taken back by it, but he wants to get credit for the loop maker. So let me take a step back. It's his loop, but I think he might have outsourced his loop kit to somebody else. So somebody else actually made the loop or his loop kit, which got used for this massive track. I hope that makes sense. So the whole premise of the video is that he's trying to get either financial reimbursement or maybe like lack since the song's done really, really well, trying to get a plaque for his uh, loop making friend. So it goes on about him jumping through hoops, speaking to the artist manager. So then towards the end of the video, spoiler alert, he 
he manages to get the loop maker um, a plaque. And then it's made known that this loop is actually a part of a royalty free loop kit, which I thought was kind of strange because I make royalty free loop kits. Everything I've made is royalty free, free for people to use, sell, do whatever they want. I don't need featuring. I don't need credit. I don't need telling. I don't need any kind of financial payback. Um, royalty free is royalty free. In my eyes, that's, that's how, I, how I've always seen it. But in though it's royalty free, Kyle thinks that him or his producer friend that made the loop is entitled to some kind of financial um, reimbursement or a plaque even. Um, so I was very surprised that they managed to get a plaque because royalty free surely means royalty free, right? So Kyle's made this massive video kind of outing the producer that made the track in a way for using the loop to begin with. And I just wanted you guys to let me know what your thoughts are about royalty free. Did Kyle have the right to chase after this kind of credit for this track even though it was royalty free? Or do you guys see royalty free how I see royalty free? Whereas you get the loop, use the loop, do whatever you want with it. You don't have to feature anybody, no splits, no nothing. It's completely yours. Because like I said, I was really surprised he was able to get any kind of credit or even a plaque from this royalty free loop that he had given away in a free sample pack. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below because I'm very intrigued by this whole situation. And also, does this kind of put you off using loops in general um, or even royalty free loops as they might get chased up by the original maker at some point for credit? Yeah, it's a bit of a mess. Let me know what you think in the comment section below about it. Okay, so up next over at Fracture Sounds, they have the Epic Grand um, Library, a part of their Blueprint series, a piano of epic proportions. This Steinway Model D has been recorded in octaves in a large concert hall with an array of microphone options and more effects to shape the sound. This will work in the free contact player. So here it is inside of your door. Just comes with this one kind of preset where you can toggle around here. really love that reverb. I like this shimmer preset. Um, you can change it too as well in the reverb settings there. Okay, so over at 2B Played, of course they have a freebie. Um, this one's their slim verb. Um, all you do is click buy now. Go to the car, as you can see here, it'll be 20 euros 30. All you have to do is apply coupon. And the coupon is 2B some org right there, apply coupon. And as you can see here, zero. I'm not sure when this will run out. It is limited time only. So if you do try and use it and it doesn't work anymore, that's because you didn't do it quick enough. And if you do want to get to these videos quicker so you can get these deals quicker so you don't miss out on them, feel free to hit that subscribe button with the notification bell. We're so close to 90,000 subscribers, which means a huge producer giveaway. Okay, so it's time for a drinks break. And in my last video, I said to you guys, if you comment below sauna, I'll give you a shout out in my next video. Well, this is our next video and here are the people that commented. If you would like a shout out in my next video, all you have to do right now is like this video and in the comment section below, just comment alarm and I'll give you a shout out in my next video. But please bear in mind, it is the first 20 people that do get a shout out. Okay, so this is a massive one for me because I absolutely love this library. This is the Native Instruments Choir Omnia library, but it's not the one that I've showed you guys before a hundred times. This is the Essentials. This is essentially a lighter version of that really expensive Choir Omnia library. And I really love that Native Instruments have done this, but like they've made it accessible to people with less of a budget um, because the other one is quite pricey. As you can see here, 360 pounds for the full version, as, whereas this one's 129 pounds for the more lightweight version of it. And I think Native Instruments should do this more often with their expensive libraries make more affordable versions of it just so people can kind of try it um, and then maybe if they like it enough they might upgrade to the full versions at some point okay so this will look like inside of your door pretty much the same as the full version um, in regards of the layout here comes with a ton of presets as you can see right here or here love this dial in the middle here as well and you'll see why now Thank you. 
edit these out individually as well for um, other sounds sequencer. change the way that it's um, sang as well so this is marcato you can tell by the circle at the bottom here that's the sustain shape etc etc click that change it to staccato stactissimo marcato and sustain here's some of the other um, vowels and syllables. And these are just the sopranos. It comes with the altos, basses, and tenors as well. If you do want to check them out, they sound best when you layer them. Maybe have one layer of sopranos and then another layer of basses. Um, just really stack them high if you want to get something really epic. But I'm so happy that they've made this a version and it's more affordable as well. Over at Plugin Boutique, they have the Lifeline Expanse Light, which is normally £49. If you go all the way to the end of the checkout, you will find this part here that says, Do you have a coupon code? There you will put in KVR0824, click apply, and then you'll see this total will come to zero. This is limited time only again, so please, if you do trade and it doesn't work, it's obviously ran out. And like I said earlier, if you don't want to miss the deal, click that subscribe button and that notification bell. If you're like me and you like to make orchestral types of music, but sometimes those libraries can be so expensive, um, don't worry about it. I have put together a great list of orchestral freebies in this video right here for 2024. I've been Dixon, be safe, be productive, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.